I've just been playing about uh, with a Martha Stewart punch I've recently received. It's the doily edge one. Can you see that? I thought I'll try and see if I could do a flower. So here's my flower I've just finished. It's been cut in a certain way so that you could um, fold it round in one strip. So I shall show you how I did that. Um, so what you need, you need an A4, well this is A4 length. And I cut the width so it's just over half an inch. Um, and then, and then um, I cut off the last three um, scallop edges. I cut it down to about that much. So it's about just under a quarter of an inch from the bottom hole. Can you see it's about two eighths roughly? Uh, so then the rest of it is what I shall now show you how to do because you're going to end up with it like this. There is a punch you can buy, I think it's a Fiskars punch. So here we go. So you need to cut your length, it's roughly 12 inches, 11 and a half, 12 inches. So cut your length, then cut the last three off and just shorten it a little bit. You don't even have to do that really if you don't want to. Uh, and then, where every scallop is, you need to fold it. So, fold it one way, making sure your edges are together, then fold it the next, and keep doing that till you get to the end. So there we've got a zigzag length. Next thing is to gather up two or three pleats. You can't really do it all in one go unless you've got super, super duper sharp scissors. So I'm just taking like a couple of folds at a time. And what I'm going to do, where it folds there, oops, where it folds there, I'm going to... Um, cut through that and cut out a sort of a triangle. So I'll go down to the last quarter of inch at an angle. And there you go. So you want you want to have that shape cut out. Then unravel that, fold your next two or three turn over and cut it again. So cut at an angle down to the last quarter inch roughly. Try and keep it level with your last piece you cut. And fold that back and turn and cut the next Try and go out. I hope you can understand my accent all right. It's dead common, isn't it? But there we go. Can't help that. <laughs> oh dear. Let's cut. So the next thing you do with your... I'll do that bit, the longer bit. A bit easier. Just wrap it round... Um, paintbrush just to help break down the surface of the card. You see, uh, oh, get some glue. I'm using Aileen's Thick Tacky cocktail stick. some glue along there, wrap it round. You might want to do that. If you don't, just leave it all one length and so you get a couple more petals. Uh, because what you could do, you could maybe put a bead in there or a selection of different beads or a little tiny button or something. 
It doesn't have to be that. Uh, so next is um, get this puppy wrapped around the uh, around that bit. So I'm going to put some thin layer valines around there, not too thick because it um, takes a while to dry otherwise. And wrap it round, put that sort of edge to edge, like put the edges together. It's a bit fiddly. So you get it going, and when you've got it going, you Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, as they say here. Yeah. And if you think you've got a bit too much of a gap between your petals when you start turning, like twisting it round, just cut it. Run it on again. Might want to just tweak those a bit to all stuck round. Do any of you girls hold your breath while you're playing? I do. I wonder I ain't passed out. <laughs> you probably find an easier way of doing this yourselves, but um, uh, you know, you you'll always find your own way of doing it. it. Might be better than the way I've done it. Who knows? Till you have a go. It should be um, gone off enough the glue for me to start bending these back. I hope you can you can see this girls. It's my first attempt at doing a video for YouTube. I've done videos before but sculpting videos that I used to sell but so it's kind of like a different setup here. You see it? I think I might make a few more of these, I quite like them. So uh, I'd be really pleased to see your your efforts at making these and um, please do leave a response and uh, sub and like me as well. I'd be really pleased to see your comments, um, even if it's um, a bad critique. Um, tell me where I'm going wrong or, or if you've liked what you've seen and what have you. Um, yeah, I'll be really pleased. So I'm going to have another go at a video later on tonight. I'm going to be showing, well, I'm going to make a video trying to show you how to, how I made my gatefold, gatefold album as one of my Christmas projects I did just before Christmas. And uh, I hope to um, get that up and running by tomorrow up on YouTube. Uh, so uh, I shall keep you posted. So um, thanks very much for stopping by and uh, see you real soon. Bye.